In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this adorable little cow rattle. You're going to need your yarn. You'll need black, white, and tan, some safety eyes, fiber fill, and a rattle insert. For the head, you're going to need your white yarn, a 3.5 millimeter hook, and your stitch marker. And to begin round one, you're going to do a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop, and then chain one to secure your yarn, and then do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five and six, grab your tail, pull it so it closes up the hole, place your stitch marker, and at this point you should have six stitches. For round two, you're going to do one increase in each stitch and so you'll just do two single crochets into each stitch to make your increase. So there's one increase, and then you'll move to the next one, do an increase, and you'll continue to do one increase in each stitch all the way to the end of this round, at which point you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll repeat this all the way around. So one single crochet followed by one increase. And keep repeating one single crochet followed by one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one increase. So there's one and two, and then one increase and repeat. So two single crochet followed by one increase and keep repeating that all the way around two single crochet followed by one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round five, your repeating sequence will be three single crochet followed by one increase. So there's one, two, three, and then one increase. And you'll repeat that all the way around. Three single crochet, one increase, three single crochet, one increase, until you reach the end of this round, at which point you should have a total of 30 stitches. Before moving to round six, now is a good time to turn your work over and weave in that beginning tail. So you'll just Put it through a couple of the stitches just to make sure it's nice and tight and secure and then snip off the excess and now you're ready to begin round six and your repeating sequence for this round will be four single crochet followed by one increase so there's one two three and four, and then we do one increase. And then you'll repeat that all the way around, four single crochet, increase, four single crochet, increase, all the way until you've reached the end of this round, at which point you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round seven, your repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, 
four, five, and then do one increase and repeat. So you do five single crochet, one increase, five single crochet, one increase, all the way till you've reached the end of the round, at which point you should have a total of 42 stitches. For round eight, our repeating sequence will be six single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then you'll do your increase. And you'll repeat that all the way around, six single crochet, increase, six single crochet, increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 48 stitches. For rounds nine through 16, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of round 16, you should still have a total of 48 stitches. Here I've come to the end of round 16. We're starting to take a shape and it's going to look like a bowl when you're holding it. And now is a good time to insert your safety eyes. I've already placed one and we're going to place the safety eyes between rounds 10 and 11. So count down 10 and put it between 10 and 11. And you're going to leave seven stitches in between the eyes. And so then just stick your safety eye in there. And these ones have a post with a backing. And you'll just place the backing onto the post and I use this as just a stylus that I took the rubber tip out of, and it works really good for pushing that backing down into place. So just push, push that on until it's on there securely, and there you have attached the eyes. For round 17, your repeating sequence will be six single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you'll do a decrease. So go into the next stitch, bring up your loop, go to the following stitch, bring up a loop, grab your yarn and pull through all three loops. And that is your decrease. And you'll repeat that all the way around. So six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a decrease. And continue to repeat that all the way to the end of the row. Six single crochet, one decrease, repeat. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 42 stitches. For round 18, your repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat that five single crochet followed by a decrease all the way to the end of the round, at which point you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round 19, your repeating sequence will be four single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, and four, followed by one decrease. 
and you will repeat that all the way around for single crochet followed by a decrease all the way until you've reached the end of the round at which point you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round 20 your repeating sequence will be three single crochet followed by a decrease. There's one, two, and three, and then a decrease. And then you'll just repeat that all the way around. One, two, three, and decrease. And you'll continue to do that until you've reached the end of the round, at which point you should have a total of 24 stitches. Before moving on, now is a good time to stuff. Put your stuffing in. If you're using the rattle insert, just pull the stuffing apart in the center so you make a little pocket. And then you just slide that rattle insert in there and you'll add more stuffing before you completely close it up. For round 21, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by a decrease. And you're going to continue that all the way around two single crochet followed by one decrease and keep repeating that until the end of the round two single crochet one decrease and at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches for round 22 you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have a total of 18 stitches. For round 23, your repeating sequence will be one single crochet followed by one decrease. And you'll repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, followed by one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat that until the end of the round, at which point you should have a total of 12 stitches. For rounds 24 through 40, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of round 40, you should still have a total of 12 stitches. Make sure you add stuffing as you go so that way the handle can hold its shape. And here I've reached the end of round 40. We've got a nice long handle for our rattle and now we're just going to close up the hole. So for rounds 41 and 42, we're just going to decrease all the way around. Make sure that you have stuffed the handle as far as you can go. And when you stuff that handle, you want to make sure there's enough in there to where it holds its shape, but not so much that you're stretching out your stitches. And so we're just going to keep decreasing all the way around. Let's see. Let me turn that over. And when you get to the point where you're running out of space for decreases, you can take your hook through a couple of the stitches and then just do a slip stitch, move to the next one, go through to the other side, bring it through and do a slip stitch, and then you will 
do one final slip stitch to tie off. Take your scissors and cut the yarn. Now that you've cut your yarn, you'll thread your yarn needle and weave in that end. So we'll take it under some of these stitches. And as you're weaving in the end, you can sew it to where you're kind of flattening it out a little bit. Make sure you got that hole closed all the way. And then just to make sure that it's completely secure, take your tail and tie another knot. So pull it part way through so you have that loop and take your needle through the loop. And then pull nice and tight and that will help to secure it. And then you can take your yarn needle and hide that tail inside the handle. I like to go through a couple of times just to make sure it's really in there. And then you'll just cut off the excess. And there is the main part of the rattle. For the muzzle, you're going to use your white yarn, your 3.5 millimeter hook, and a stitch marker. And we'll begin with a magic circle. So wrap your yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop, chain one to secure. And for round one, you're going to do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, and six. And then you'll grab that tail, give it a pull. That closes up the hole, and you can now place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase into each stitch. So that'll be two single crochets in each stitch to make your increases. So there's one increase and two. And then you'll just keep increasing in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you will do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And then you're going to repeat that all the way around one single crochet followed by one increase, one single crochet, then an increase and continue to repeat that. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one increase. And then you're just going to repeat that all the way around. So two single crochet followed by an increase. And keep doing that until you've reached the end of your round, at which point you should have a total of 24 stitches. For rounds five through seven, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of round seven, you should still have a total of 24 stitches. And here I've reached the end of round seven. I've removed my stitch marker. And we're just gonna slip stitch into that next stitch and tie off. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing onto your piece. And 
And I'll just pull that through. And then make sure you weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess. To attach the muzzle, you're going to thread your yarn needle, add some stuffing, and we're going to place it just below the eyes. And you'll take your yarn needle, go under a stitch in the rattle, and then up through a stitch in the muzzle. And you'll continue to do this all the way around, under a stitch in the rattle, and then up through a stitch in the muzzle. Under a stitch in the rattle, up through a stitch in the muzzle. And you'll continue to do that all the way around until you get back to where you started. And here I'm back to where I started. So I'm just going to do one last stitch to finish pulling that closed. And then you'll take your yarn needle, go under a stitch. Don't pull it all the way through. Because you're gonna wanna tie off here. And there we go. So take your yarn needle through that loop and then pull tight. And you'll take your yarn needle and just stick it through the head. And that will hide the tail. And you'll just snip off the excess. And now the tail is completely hidden inside the rattle. For the mouth and the nostrils on the muzzle, you're gonna cut a strip of black yarn. I'm going to make a slip knot. On one end, and then you'll thread your yarn needle. And we're gonna start with the first nostril so I'm gonna do a half smile down here and the nostrils will probably be right about here. So take your yarn needle under a couple of those stitches. And once you get to the slip knot, you'll go ahead and tighten that up and pull the yarn the rest of the way through. And then you'll hide this tail after you're done. And that'll cover that. Now we're gonna go back through the stitch that we just came out of and move our yarn over to the beginning of the mouth. And then we're just gonna do a little half smile here. So you'll go in through the stitch and then back out through the stitch you just used. Pull not too tight, but just enough. Then go to the next stitch, come back out. And it helps to put the yarn through there to help keep the form. We'll go to the next stitch, come back out. And I think one more. So go into the next stitch and come back out. And that's going to make our little half smile. I think that works right there. So now to do the second nostril, we're gonna go back through that stitch right there and come out, hopefully pretty even to where we did the other one. Go ahead and pull. You don't wanna to pull too tight. If it's too tight, you can just loosen it up a little bit. And then go 
go ahead and come down a couple of stitches back up through the stitch that you came through. And I think that's about as straight as I'm gonna get his nostrils. And so now we're gonna go under that stitch and tie our knot. So we'll go through the loop, pull tight to make the knot. And then you'll just take your yarn needle back through that same stitch and push it all the way through the head. And then you'll do the same thing with this other tail. Go back through that top stitch there. Poke it through the head. And there we go. We've got our nostrils and our little half smile. And now you can just snip off the excess and that'll hide itself inside the head. And snip off the excess and then it hides inside the head. So there we have our muzzle with our nostrils and our little half smile. For the ears, you'll need your white yarn, your 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and your stitch marker. And we'll begin round one with a magic circle. And you're going to do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, and six. So you'll grab your tail, pull it tight, place your stitch marker, and at this point you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should still have six stitches. For round three, you're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet followed by one increase. And then one single crochet followed by one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of nine stitches. And before you move on to the next round, it's a good idea to take a moment to weave in that beginning tail. For round four, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have a total of nine stitches. For round five, you're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll just repeat that all the way around. So two single crochet, followed by one increase. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For rounds six through eight, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of round eight, you should still have a total of 12 stitches. 
for round nine, you're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet. There's one, two, and follow that with one decrease. So go into your stitch, bring up a loop, move to the next stitch, bring up the loop, and then pull through all three. And that is your decrease. So you'll repeat that all the way around. Two single crochet, followed by one decrease. And you'll continue to do that all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of nine stitches. For round 10, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you finish this round, you should still have a total of nine stitches. For round 11, your repeating sequence will be one single crochet followed by one decrease. And you're going to repeat that all the way around one single crochet followed by one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of six stitches. For round 12, you're going to take your edges and fold them together. You're going to put your hook through the stitches on both sides, do one single crochet, move to the next stitch, put it through both sides and do a slip stitch and tie off. We do not stuff the ears. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you're leaving a long enough tail for sewing. And there is one ear done and you need to make two of these. To attach your ears, you'll thread your yarn needle and I've already attached one of them. And we're going to kind of place it, make sure you're placing them evenly, kind of off to the sides a little bit. And you'll take your yarn needle, go under a stitch in the head and through a stitch in the ear. And you'll just repeat that under a stitch in the head through a stitch in the ear. And then to tie off, you'll just go under a stitch in the head, pull nice and tight. And then go back under the stitch, make your loop, bring your yarn needle through and pull nice and tight. And his ears should kind of droop off a little bit to the side. Make sure you're nice and even before you hide your tail. And once you've decided you've got them where you want, you'll take your yarn needle, push it through the head, and cut off the excess. And you'll do that with both ears. And there we have the ears are attached. For the horns, you're going to use your tan yarn, the 3.5 millimeter hook, and your stitch marker. And we'll begin round one with a magic circle. Chain one to secure your yarn and do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you'll grab your tail, pull to close the hole, and place your stitch marker. For rounds two and three, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch 
all the way around. And once you have finished round three, you should still have six stitches. And here I've come to the end of round three. You can go ahead and remove that stitch marker and then just slip stitch into the next stitch to tie off. And then you'll cut your yarn. Make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing and then weave in this beginning tail here. You'll add just a tiny bit of stuffing in there before attaching it. To attach the horns to the head, we're going to go slightly behind the ears, kind of centered. I've added just a little bit of stuffing in there so it'll hold its shape. And grab your yarn needle, and you're gonna go under a stitch in the head, and then up through a stitch in the horn, and under a stitch in the head, up through a stitch in the horn, and you'll continue to do that all the way around until you've come back to where you started. So just keep going around. And then once you've gotten back to where you started, you'll do your final stitch, throw your through the horn, and then come down and go through a stitch in the head. Don't pull it all the way through because you're going to put your yarn needle through that loop that you just made to tie off. And then you'll take your yarn needle and hide the tail inside the head and cut off the excess. And there we have the horns have been attached. For the spots, you'll need your black yarn and a 3.5 millimeter hook. And you'll start with a magic circle. And then you're going to just do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, and six. And then grab the tail, give it a pull to close it up. And then you're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet you did to join and then tie off. And that's it for the spots. And you're going to want to make three or four of them to place in various spots. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave it long enough for sewing. And then go ahead and weave in that beginning tail. To attach the spots, you'll thread your yarn needle. And I've already placed two of them. I put one down here on the handle and one up here by the ear. And you can place them wherever you want. I think this one I'm going to put over here on the side. And so you'll just take your yarn needle and go under a stitch in the rattle and up through a stitch in the spot and continue to do that all the way around. So under a stitch in the rattle, up through a stitch in the spot. And just continue to go all the way around. And you don't have to worry about making sure they're perfectly round when you get them on here, they can be a little off-centered. And we'll just keep going around, up through the spot, 
under a stitch in the head. And you'll do that all the way until you have come back to where you started. And then you'll go under that final stitch. I'm gonna go through here one more time. And now I'm back to where I started. And so we're just gonna go under a stitch in the rattle. Take your yarn needle through that loop, pull tight, and then just hide the yarn inside the head and snip off the excess. And if you've accidentally messed up the shape of the head a little bit, you can always take your yarn needle and puff him back out. And there I have added some spots to the cow. You can, of course, add more spots if you choose to. It's up to you. For the arms, you're going to need your black yarn, some white yarn, your stitch marker, and your 3.5 millimeter hook. For round one, we're going to start with a magic circle using the black yarn. So wrap your yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop. And then you'll chain one to secure your yarn and do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, and six. And now you'll grab your tail, give it a pull, and that will close up the hole. And you'll place your stitch marker, and at this point you should have six stitches. For round two, you're going to do one increase in each stitch so go into the stitch, bring up your loop, and do one single crochet. You'll go back into that same stitch and do another single crochet, and that is your increase. So two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So we'll do another increase. And you'll just keep doing an increase in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you will do a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, followed by one increase. So continue to do that, one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, one increase, and at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, and at the end of this round, you should still have 18 stitches. Before moving to round five, let's take a moment to weave in that beginning tail. So you'll turn your work over and then just run the yarn through a couple of stitches and snip off the excess. And then fix your stitch marker. And you're ready to begin round five. And for this round, your repeating sequence will be one decrease. So go into the stitch, bring up your loop, go to the next stitch, bring up the loop, grab your yarn and pull through all three loops. And then we will do one single crochet in the next stitch. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around. So one decrease, 
followed by one single crochet. And then a decrease, followed by one single crochet. And you'll keep doing that all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Once you have completed round five, we're actually going to switch to our white. So on that final stitch of round five, you're going to go into the stitch, bring up your loop, hold that yarn, grab your white, bring it through the two loops, and then tighten that up. And then you'll place your stitch marker. And for rounds six through nine, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around using your white yarn. And if you catch your tail pieces inside your stitches, it'll help to hold it in place. After a couple of stitches, you can just drop those tail pieces and continue on. Just doing one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for rounds six through nine. And once you've reached the end of round nine, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Before moving to round 10, you want to take a moment to finish weaving in these tail pieces. I've cut my black yarn off, thread the yarn needle, and then just go back through under a couple of stitches, and that will help to secure these tail pieces. And then you just snip off the excess. And now you're ready to begin on round 10. And your repeating sequence for this round will be one decrease, and actually it's not repeating, you'll just do one decrease and then follow that with 10 single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that was one decrease followed by 10 single crochet, which brings you to the end of this round. And you should have 11 stitches. For round 11, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you reach the end of this round, you should still have a total of 11 stitches. For round 12, you're going to begin with one decrease, followed by nine single crochet. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And at this point, you should have a total of 10 stitches. For round 13, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have a total of 10 stitches. Before you finish your arm, you want to make sure you put some stuffing in there so it can fill out. 
you want it to hold its shape, but not so filled that it's gonna stretch out your stitches. And now we'll remove the stitch marker. And for round 14, you're going to take your arm and fold it together. And then you'll take your hook and go through the stitches on both sides and do a single crochet. And you're gonna do that all the way across. So going through the stitches on both sides, single crochet, go through both sides, single crochet. And when you come to that last stitch, you'll just do a slip stitch and tie off. And then when you cut your yarn, leave a long enough tail for sewing on. And there we go. There's one arm finished and you want to make two of these. To attach the arms, you'll thread your yarn needle and I've already got one sewn on. We're just gonna place it just below the head right at the top of the handle. And you want to, when you place these, make sure that you're getting them even. So that way there, one's not coming more forward. So line them up. And then you're gonna take your yarn needle, go under a stitch, make sure you're going through that same row under a stitch in the rattle, and then through a stitch in the arm, pull tight, go under a stitch in the rattle, through a stitch in the arm, and you'll do this all the way across until you've got the arm completely attached. So through a stitch in the rattle, through a stitch in the arm, and then through a stitch in the rattle, and last one, through the stitch in the arm, and then you'll just take your yarn needle under one more stitch in the rattle, And pull it part way through so you have that loop. Put your yarn needle through the loop and pull tight. And that ties it off. Before hiding your yarn, you'll want to make sure you've got the arms on evenly. And then you'll just take your yarn needle and poke it through. Pull nice and tight, and then you'll just snip off the excess and your rattle will be done. And here we have finished the rattle. And it is now ready to play with. 